Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm uh, Ethan Kapstein. That's me. When I was first invited to WEF 15 years ago, I was young and handsome. Now they invite me from my historical perspective on the issues of the day. You know, I was actually like a banker in the 82 financial crisis. I remember these things. Could be. <laughs> it's easier just to buy the same one, my wife says. Uh, so. You see, I, I'll find five minutes to be a lot of time. I don't say a lot to my students. My bright idea is that when companies act like anthropologists, when they act like anthropologists, when they dig deep, they can do well for themselves and promote the development of the countries in which they operate. That's the idea I want to share with you today. When companies act like anthropologists, they can do well for themselves and promote the development of the countries where they operate. What's this? What's that? It's a glass of beer. Gertrude Stein taught us, a rose is a rose is a rose. We've all imprinted in our brain what a glass of beer is. We all associate it with something. And obviously the beer companies play on our associations with that product. So probably some of us are thinking, oh, I'd love to be on the hot beach now with my friends having a beer. Beer is associated with our pleasure, with nice summer days with happy times, with our friends. I don't mind not talking. Silence is beautiful. <laughs> beer, especially here at the WEF. Uh, beer is to be with our family. <laughs> beer we share at family gatherings. Again, we think of these happy events that we associate with this product. And companies sell to this. They sell to these kind of feelings that we have about uh, this product. But my view is that leadership is about looking beyond the haze. When I sent these slides, someone said, your picture is not clear. That's because these consumers are not clear to most beer companies. Leadership is about seeing through the haze. I'm an old military man. Leadership is about seeing through the fog of war. That's when the leaders come through who can function in the fog of war. And this is my story is about a product that Sad Miller created using a local product in Uganda called sorghum and making a clear beer out of a locally grown product, sorghum. And this was an incredible insight of this company. And I'll share it with you because they were the only major brewery to see a potential in their lower rung consumers to create a product that would also create the, promote the development of Uganda. This is sorghum. Beer can actually be made out of lots of raw materials. Uh, it can be made with barley, that's what most of you are used to. It can be made with rice, it can be made with cornmeal. But in Uganda, local people make their own beer out of sorghum, which is grown everywhere. And for those of you who know Uganda, you know it's agriculturally rich. And these dark areas indicate to you where sorghum is grown. It's grown quite widely throughout this country. It's very easy for farmers to grow it. The agriculture in Uganda is mainly subsistence agriculture, by the way. So people grow and, uh, on very small plots, and that's how they support themselves. So someone saw the idea of harnessing these subsistence farmers and having them sell the product sorghum to the Sab Miller Brewery in Uganda to use that as an input for this sorghum beer that was very popular among, at that time, lower-end consumers. And what Sab Miller did was guarantee a price to these farmers. Farmers are incredibly price sensitive. And by doing that, Sab Miller greatly increased the demand from the farmer sector. Today, 21,000 jobs in the Uganda agricultural sector are supported by Sab Miller alone. This one company, by the way, supports 57,000 jobs, even though it has only 330 jobs in its own brewery. That's the, the multiplier effect. So by finding a local product, by harnessing a local product and local demand, a company, in this case SAB Miller, can contribute to poverty reduction, bringing farmers out of subsistence farming, increasing their income, leading to economic growth, leading to more investment, now SAB is planting barley in Uganda. That means the brewery needs a milling uh, processing facility. That's an investment. And then you get all sorts of great publicity around this. So you can actually make money in ancillary ways because you get incredible publicity. And this case of Eagle Lager has been written up 
uh, by a number of institutions. It's gotten a lot of press because it's been a very dramatic development story. Again, how the private sector can make a difference in development. I personally believe that development has to be led by the private sector. So that's really my bright idea, that when companies dig deeper, when they think as anthropologists, they can do a lot for themselves and for the world in which they operate. Thank you.